In this warning, I want to talk about one of the more common leaks in these OM616 and OM617 diesel engines. This is a 1982 five-cylinder turbo diesel engine. The leak occurs right in this area, and it occurs at the bottom of what is called the oil filter housing. Now, the oil filter housing bolts up on here like this, and this holds the oil filter on these engines. And almost all the time on these cars, I see wetness down here from oil weeping out of the bottom of the oil filler housing, and it's due to a failed gasket. Now, you've got to remember that this block here is cast iron, and this is aluminum, so you get different rates of expansion and contraction, and that's the culprit there. That's the thing that makes these leaks so common. Eventually, the gasket will fail or shrink, and you'll get leaking. There's a lot of pressure, a lot of oil moving through this area, so this is something that you may need to deal with. I just want to warn you, in particular, about using the wrong type of gasket. Okay, you can see here I'm holding two types of gaskets. This is just your normal paper gasket, and these are the gaskets that are showing up in most of the overhaul gasket kits for these engines. This here is an OE gasket. It's called a waffle gasket, and if you look at it closely, it's got all this little waffle pattern in it. It also has metal in between the two halves of the gasket material. Now, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to realize which one of these gaskets is going to hold up better over time with heat and age. And I want to recommend that if you're replacing this gasket here on your oil filter housing, do not use these paper gaskets. I'm going to repeat, do not use these. You'll be redoing the job in a few years because this is not an easy job to do. And you want to use the OE waffle gasket like the one you see here. Uh, we had to source a few hundred of these out of Europe to get the right ones. They're getting harder and harder to find. So we do carry these gaskets along with instructions on how to replace them. But whatever you do, don't use any type of gasket sealant. Don't goop this up with RTV silicone. That is, <laughs> that is very bad because you get silicone going into your oil passages. This gasket goes on clean with no sealant. And you also have to make certain that you thoroughly clean both surfaces. This surface has not been cleaned. I will use a little Scotch-Brite pad on a little die grinder to clean this surface off because it really gets caked on there. So this is just one of a number of uh, diesel engine warnings I'll be posting. And be sure and just check out in the show more below, the description below this video, I'll put you a link to the playlist on all these. They'll be real short, but they're really important if you own or maintain one of these cars.